Going on private jets, taking trips Come back at six, wake me and your child And then, won't lay today Make me wonder who you might have been playing with Makes me wonder who you think playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing with Alright y'all, so It's been a while A long time But yes, so I took my pictures today As y'all can see this was the third and final look. I got my little wig on. It's melted. Got my makeup on, but y'all gonna be with me while I take it down. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I took my pictures today and it was pretty fun. I feel like the thing is loud in the back, but anyways, I took my pictures today had a good time i did like three outfits three outfits total one second okay so i did all that what was i at? today i took my grad pictures i got my you know hair done yesterday got my makeup done as y'all can see so i did like three shoots today put the pictures here so one two and three and basically this is like the third final outfit y'all like had these heels that hurt like but it's okay but i'm taking this makeoff now you know i did i did what needed uh, what needed to be done i mean like personally well all that needs to be seen is for the pictures but this is looking really good this is looking really good oh and i had like press ones on as well but i should i should just got my nails done i don't know why i didn't but yeah so yeah i just wanted to talk a little story time so um let's talk about pcos right um so if you don't know what pcos is pcos is polycystic ovary syndrome and basically it affects your hormones as a woman and it also affects your period so hormones as a woman estrogen it affects your periods affects a lot of things your mood your hunger a lot of stuff pretty much you just have a hormonal imbalance right so lo and behold that's what i have so basically i have oh my god look at that but yeah i have pcos syndrome do y'all see my freckles do y'all see the difference already anyway so yeah i have pcos and basically i had like I had a good bit like my periods were very very off they were very off they were very weird ever since I turned like 16 just very bad and even when I did my periods it was like very heavy it was just a lot going on so I had to realize there's something going on but I couldn't figure it out for a long time I didn't know what it was like I just didn't know what it was y'all this is a lot of makeup but I didn't know what it was. So around 2022, well, last year, like May, I finally said, I finally figured, I finally found PCOS and I figured out what it was. And I went to the doctor, you know, kind of got how you, so you had, in order to be diagnosed with PCOS, you had to have a vaginal ultrasound or if your blood test come back with a high certain amount of um it's some type of hormone but it comes back high in that then that's a factor you don't need to have the vaginal thing but my doctor decided to do both so i got both done my blood test came back normal but on my ultrasound it was kind of like cyst in my thing so yeah i found out i had it there but I think my main thing was that, like, how do I, like, get rid of it? Like, how do I fix it? What do I do? So, I tell the doctor, tell the doctor about it. The doctor tells me that only thing I can do is do um, birth control, like, low hormone birth control to get my thing back in order. But I've been doing a lot of research 
And a lot of like women with PCOS says like that's the worst thing you could do is do like is do like um sorry is do birth control. Birth control in general is bad for women. But yeah. So I do that for a little while. Nothing's really going like the same basically. Y'all do not see a difference. <laughs> but nothing's really like going going to the point where ooh, ooh, ooh. nothing's really like working. Like, I get my period, but I don't know. So I found a couple of other things and a lot of people are saying like, oh, you have to do glute, like gluten free and dairy free. And I'm like, personally, I can't go all the way with that. I can't go all the way um, gluten free, dairy free. I like my macaroni and cheese and I like my bread. So I was like, I can't do that. But um, I did finally see that when I do work out, like my hormones do get in balance. So it's like I have found my answer I have found my answer, but it's it was a long time. Cause like you're stuck and you just don't know what to do. So yeah, so for me, I just wanted to share this with y'all. Cause like for me, basically, I think having a healthy diet and cutting out cutting out, when I mean by cutting out, I mean limiting. So limiting certain foods cutting out certain things I do feel like and more exercise and more water of course healthy period I feel like it does help with PCOS I don't feel like it cures all the way um but I do feel like that <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry this one my I don't know what happened but I really feel like it really does help so I feel like for me it's helped I have gotten my periods back rarely my periods haven't been they haven't been heavy. They haven't been like, um, they haven't been heavy at all. They haven't even been hurting. Like maybe like I have PMS, but a lot of people are saying PMS is bad too. And I'm like, pick a side at this point. I don't know what it is being a woman anymore. I'm like, how, how is PCS, how is PMS and bad? So I don't know with that one. But besides that, yeah. That's what a lot of people are saying, but I wanted to drop that in there and share my little story about PCOS. Moving forward, um, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having imposter syndrome. I have a big time imposter syndrome. I should have these eyebrows good. All right, I'm gonna remember these. Like these eyebrows are good. I love these. Well, yeah, having a little imposter syndrome. And basically, I just don't know. I'm scared. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to graduate. I don't know. I always feel like that every semester. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to make it. I don't feel like this. I'm not putting that in the air because I ain't want to make it. But it's just scary to graduate. And a lot of people don't tell you that. Like, it's fun, yes. But being real, I'm graduating. I got to be an adult. Like, I know all of us say, like, oh, we want to be free I don't want to do this I don't want to do with that but oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna become an adult and oh my poor poor eyebrow it was real sexy too it was real sexy she did that but yeah I don't know it's just it's just scary it's real scary you just don't feel like you're gonna make it in this world not to say the world is, oh, the world is ruthless. I'm going to say, let's be real there. The world is actually ruthless. But we'll see. But yeah, y'all. I don't know. Like, I had a whole thing to talk about. This is off the whim. This is really off the whim. I'm feeling like I have a whole thing to do today. Oh, y'all, I accidentally did two things at once and I saw overbooking myself also overbooked like I'm a celebrity but I don't know I really do have to stop overbooking myself because I be finding myself like oh dang I got that to do so for instance like last night I had to kind of focus on doing a rehearsal or something like that oh my god I hate borderline 
feel like the worst to get off. But yeah. Y'all, like, look at this. Anyways. So I'll be overbooking myself. So yesterday I had went out to dinner with my friend, with my guy friend. And we chatted up then. But then I was like, dang. I forgot. I forgot, I forgot I was supposed to hang out with him. So I had said, like, yeah, we're going to be doing this online rehearsal. Girl, I said, I can't do it. I can't do it because I booked him before that. So I said no. But I really be, like, doing the most. Okay, so I set the makeup off and everything. Yeah, so this is me. This is my true self. I'm kidding. But, yes. That's pretty much all. Y'all wanted to drop by. Say hello. How y'all doing? Kudos. Um, adios. Hola. Whatever. Hello in all English. All in all in languages. But that's all I wanted to do today. Um, just say hello and just show y'all like my hairstyle, what I got. Like I'll show y'all. Like she ate. Okay. Anyways, besides that, Shrek 2 is playing in the background. Please don't mind that. Um, I gotta get this waterline out, y'all. Like, it is bad. I hate getting waterline. But besides that, makeup was real cute. Uh, like I always say, never settle. Always be set. I love y'all in all languages. Have a blessed day, blessed night, blessed week, blessed month, blessed year. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed